Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the L'Oreal Nude Magique Blur Cream. This is kind of new to the Australian market but it's kind of not. But yeah, I picked mine up from Target for... I want to say like $18. So price point, it's not too bad. It's actually quite affordable considering it's from L'Oreal. I think full price, it's like $22 or $23. Again, not a bad price. But, so overall, this product is kind of like the drugstore L'Oreal version of the Benefit Professional. At least that's what it reminds me of. It's not exactly the same, but I would say it's very, very close and very, very similar in concept and consistency. So... I'm going to read you what it says on the back. It says, Discover Nude Magique Blur Cream, a unique lightweight texture that instantly fuses with the skin to blur imperfections away for a flawless look. I would agree with that. I feel like when you put it on your skin, it definitely rubs into the skin very, very well. And when you rub it onto your skin, it does somewhat reduce the appearance of your pores. I personally haven't found a product to completely wipe my pores like like vanish them completely but it has reduced the size of them significantly very very similar to what the benefit professional does so i really really enjoy it for that aspect and also i'd like to mention that when it's actually on your face it's so 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 lightweight so they've definitely got that claim as well like it seriously just blends in so effortlessly if, yeah, effortlessly. It's just so, so nice. And I do like to apply it in an upward motion just to where my pores are. And then I just like to rub it in the rest of my face. So the other claims on the back are pores appear less visible. Definitely agree. It doesn't, again, wipe the pores away or like vanish them away, but it does reduce the appearance of those. And it says it evens out skin surface. Eh, kind of, not really. I generally just apply it to where I need it because yeah and it says smooth silky smooth touch it is very very smooth I must admit it is so nice to use and it says translucent coverage definitely agree it just blends into nothing on the skin like it's colorless however there are two shades available which is really 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 confusing I have mine in the light to medium shade because obviously I've liked to medium skin tones even when I'm fake tanned and then they have a medium to deep but to be fair if it literally just blends away into nothing, I don't think it really matters that there's two shades available. Just saying. Now the texture of this is really, really unique. When I bought this, I put it on the back of my hand when I got home and I was like, wow, this is so dry. But then I shook it up and then I was like, oh my God, this is like so airy and so like marshmallowy and I really, really like it. So yeah, it's really, really light even like when it comes out of the container, like I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, like it just, it's just so fluffy. That's how I'm gonna describe it. It's a fluffy consistency when it comes out and it just blends into the skin really, really nice and it just looks really, really healthy and healthy? No, <laughs> it just kind of like blurs the um, pores on your face, which I really, really do enjoy. And that's the basic, that's basically what I bought this for. So does it do what I want it to do? Yes. Does it prolong my my makeup? Nothing that is noticeably different. Does it keep me matte? No. So if you're looking for something that is going to keep you matte and extend the wear of your makeup as well as perfect your pores, this isn't the product for you. But with that said, it also doesn't claim to extend your makeup, nor does it claim to keep oils at bay. So if you were wanting something to prolong your makeup, maybe look for a primer that is designed for that or oil control, same situation, find something that's more like oil controlling. But this just does what it says it's gonna do and it is blur your pores. And that is exactly what it does. I also find that it's, it blurs my laugh lines around the sides of my face, like here. I find that it also blurs those. Um, it doesn't like completely make them disappear, but it, but it does reduce the appearance of them. So I really, really do like it in that aspect. The closest thing I would compare it to is the Benefit Professional in regards to it having a tint and also how it looks after it's applied. I would say that the Benefit Professional is a slight bit more greasy, but it's not even that greasy. But like it's it's not airy and light and fluffy like this one. The Benefit Professional is definitely more dense and more heavy on the skin, I find at least. Still love the Benefit Professional, but I have been reaching for this a lot more than that. 
and considering this is like half the price and you get 25 mil so more because I think the poor professional only has 22 mil like win so yeah overall I really really enjoy this product I think it's highly worth the money if you are wanting to just blur your pores just a little bit obviously it's not going to erase your pores maybe if you used more and you just like layered it up but yeah personally i find that it does what i want it to do and that is reduce the appearance of my pores which it has done so i'm very very happy with that um it says that it can be used alone or under makeup i use it under makeup because i don't generally don't reach for products like this if i'm going to wear no makeup at all because i personally count this as a makeup item I don't know that's just how I personally see it but when I do wear it underneath makeup it the makeup that I put on top regardless of it being L'Oreal or not so it can be from any brand so Mac Rimmel Maybelline anything that I put on top like foundation wise it goes on very very smooth and very very evenly so that is something that I do like about it. It doesn't separate my makeup, it doesn't make it split, and it doesn't break it down. Those are some very, very important aspects to one of these blur pore filling creams. Some of them can tend to either break down your makeup, make them kind of separate, or just not be one with your skin like it should be. So yeah, overall, I really, really enjoyed this. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you were in the market for it, especially if you were thinking about buying the Benefit Professional. Definitely give this one a try or at least check out the testers in store. I think it's really, really good and I think it is worth the money. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that short review. Definitely leave comments down below of products that you want to see me review in the future and I'll definitely try and work on that. I have a few products that I want to review for you, so... Yeah, definitely let me know some products that you want to see my review down below. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.